Thank you all for being here this morning. I'm Alex Lee. Assemblyman Alex, Alex Lee Assembly will take State another State shot State at convincing State lawmakers to pass a new tax on the extremely wealthy. For far too long, we've allowed income inequality to deepen and fester in this state and in this country where the rich get wealthier and the middle class shrinks and falls further behind. Lee's proposal would tax an extra 1.5% on Californians with a worldwide net worth of more than $1 billion starting January of 2024 and 1% for those making more than $50 million starting in 2026. The measure aims to tax assets such as stocks, bonds, and other property that can skyrocket in value without incurring taxes until they're sold. He said the tax would apply to the top 0.1% of California earners and could generate an extra $21.8 billion for the state to help with schools, housing, and other social programs. If you can afford to send yourself to wherever you want to go out in space, then you can afford to tax yourself a little bit more to use everything that we have here in the state of California. Governor Gavin Newsom has not commented specifically on this proposal, but in the past, he has not been a fan of similar measures. The state's franchise tax board, which falls under his administration, has said it would be hard to verify the asset information needed in order to implement this tax, especially if those assets are out of state or even out of the country. Republican State vote. Senator Roger Nilo notes California's progressive tax structure already relies heavily on the highest earners. This is going to be a very difficult uh, tax for the people that are targeted. And as I said, it just may be the straw that breaks the camel's back of keeping them in this state. At the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News. Well, the measure will require two-thirds vote from the legislature, and if passed, voters would have the final say in 2024.